Hi guys, in this video, I'll explain how to install SAP application. If you want to access SAP server for practice, then SAP application must be installed on your laptop or desktop. So how to install this SAP application, I'll explain here. First of all, so you need to click on a link. This GUI download link is already given here in this video descriptions or else if you have received any email from my end, then look at here on the email also, this link will be there or is here in this video descriptions also this link will be there. So what do you have to do? You need to just click on this download link, GUI download link or SAP application download link. So click on that link first, then click here on download. Now download will be started here. It all depends upon uh, your internet speed also how much time it's going to take. Okay, so now look at here, download. Click on download. Anyway, it has taken almost uh, 50 to 60 seconds. Click on download anyway. Then look at here, again, after uh, 60 to 70 seconds, uh, now here, so your SAP GUI is ready for download. So uh, just select your desktop itself and file name. Just click on save. Look at here the destination where it is getting saved. So it is getting saved at my desktop itself. Sometime it will be, uh, you know, it is going to be downloaded here in download. So you have to be careful. Now click on save and uh, it started getting Okay, so download in process. So once again, I'll pause for maybe some 20, 30 seconds. Now it is already done. Look at here, it is done. So just click here. Now, so look at here guys. Now the file extraction is started automatically. So just wait until the extraction is completed. I'll just pause the video and I'll, I'll let you know how much time it has taken. So look at here now, the installation is started. Actually, I'll tell you guys, after extraction, uh, one small pop-up, one small, uh, you know, like uh, screen has appeared and it has asked like, do you allow, do you want uh, to allow this app to make changes to your device? You need to click on yes. And then after, look at here, this one, then this uh, option will appear, okay? This option will appear. First of all, it will ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your, uh, what to say, device? You need to click on yes, and then this option will appear. Click on next. Then here, what you have to do, guys, you need to just click here. Okay. And then click on next. And look at here, the installation is started. The process is very smooth. It won't take much time, guys. Hardly it's going to take five minutes. If internet is a bit slow, then maybe some uh, three, four minute extra. Uh, but within five minutes, the installation is supposed to be completed. It all depends upon your internet speed also. So look at here. Now it is almost completed. Yes, it is completed. Click on close. Okay, so now it is completed. Just let me, so just minimize this. Window D and look at here. Now SAP login pad is installed. So just double click on this one to log in. Okay, so for me, look at here, generally these things I already added, I simply uninstalled and I reinstalled to show you guys. For you guys, what will happen? It will be like, this is totally blank. It will appear like this. Nothing will be there, right? So what do you have to do? You just need to click on local. You need to click on local. 
these things will not appear for you people what do you have to do you have to set up you have to create so click here click on new and then click on connection okay and then here click on next now here you have to add the server details whatever server you guys are having that you have to enter if you have taken the sap server from my end then you have to enter my server if you have taken server from somewhere else in that case you have to use those server details let's suppose here i am using uh, i'll be just i'll type your sap test sap test and then here server details how to get the server details guys it is already there in the email which i have sent so 122 176 right or else like you can open the email here and you can just copy don't copy any additional space okay copy carefully don't copy any additional space just paste it then instance number instance number 44 and system id eh7 instance number 44 system id eh7 click on next next and finish now look at here guys so this is now your sap server is ready for login so now if you have to log in here whatever id and password i have shared to you people you have to use that id okay this test id i have created this is one time id it is just uh, just i'm um, showing as as an example for you people so it won't work for other people okay don't use this id this is one time id which i have created whatever id you have received uh, from your uh, server provider uh, so you can use that id or password okay so you can use the id here and then you can log in okay uh, so here i'm going to use just ID one two three four five six and then what is happening SAP is asking to change the password so whatever password you want like you can change the password here okay so new password and repeat password both will be same and keep a simple password just press enter and then look at here I am able to access this SAP server okay so this is how you guys will be able to access this SAP server now there are certain people who doesn't have uh, this user id password they don't know how to get this user id and password uh, how to get this sap server access so guys sap server access is chargeable okay you can take it from anywhere if in case you don't know and if you want to take this sap server access from my end in that case look at here these are the charges which you can pay and you can get this sap server access from my side so these are the charges if you are from india then these are the charges available uh, you know charges applicable from other country these charges are applicable okay so for ecc and s4 hana different different charges are there if anybody needs you can look at here this is my whatsapp number you can contact uh, me you can make the payment send me the screenshot and i'll set up your login credentials and the same email will be sent to you people also or is even you can contact me on whatsapp also if you have any further query